So I would tell a chemistry joke, but all the good ones are gone. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I know, it's terrible, sorry. <laughs> My name is Alice Knox, I'm a chemistry teacher at South Hampstead High School, and I've been working on a periodic tapestry for the last seven years. My passion for chemistry is also the passion for organizing things into neat little boxes, so it's perfect in that regard. And that's something that I try to convey as much as possible in my teaching, that ultimately we're not learning lots of little factoids, we're learning the general patterns of how things behave, and then seeing how they apply in the real world and what the exceptions are. I was absolutely astounded by it. Like, there was, I'd never seen anything like it before. Knowing that Miss Knox is capable of something like this is not surprising, because she's just amazing. I'm Twitter famous, as my brother put it. It's very flattering that people are interested in what I've just been sitting around and sewing for a while. The red um, section of the periodic table, the transition metals, which are kind of the central focus, um, I've done those ones using white yarn instead of black for the text, because anybody who's red-green colorblind won't be able to see black on red. I've also tried to choose a font that is relatively easy for those with dyslexia to um, be able to interpret. I know we're not done yet, there should be like 136 elements that are out there to find, but I just hope they hold off for a couple of years so I can enjoy the, the uh, novelty of having a complete periodic table for the time being. 